Oh, what up? What up, Navlon? Oh no, that's terrible. Uh. <laughs> Alright, that guy's a dick. Uh, he's, he's the guy that we freed, right? From, uh, like, remember, there's the fogginess, and he was like, I hope you understand the implications of freeing me. Apparently that next mark that he got is actually us. So he's, he's been showing up here and there. On my way to the Duke's Dear Freya, I fought him once. It was rather uneventful. It was a little bit interesting, because he, he appears on that, uh... That, uh, bridge over the, the spikes to the room that has all of the spiders that drop down. Is he gonna appear again, or is that like a one-time thing? There we go. Yeah, that's right. Get some. Get some, buddy. Okay, that's cool. That was a cool little magic trick you did there. He doesn't even drop anything or give you souls, like... He is the biggest jerk of all time. Uh, before, of course. Before we find ourselves in the throne room. We have 100,000 souls right now. It's, it's kind of a lot of souls. I'm gonna drop it into attunement in order to have a little bit more pyromancy. That's gonna be how I'll roll. Um, just one more spell. Because uh, that's something that I've wanted to do, but I've never had the souls to do it all at once before there until all right sweet yes until hope has finally withered attunement yeah we have a slot okay we've got another like 80,000 souls well, let's confirm this for now first things first um other than that i just kind of feel like we're at diminishing returns for pretty much every every stat that we can upgrade You've on our been, character wow well. She has like nine chunks and a slab, so we could actually upgrade any basic equipment that we want to max level. We also have 11 Twinkling Titanites, so we could upgrade pretty much anything. Eight Petrified Dragon Bones. Uh, got got a lot of those, by the way. Uh, both of these from the Dragon Airy. Great place to use Bonfire Aesthetics and Farm. I didn't do it, that's just how many I got total. Um, she also actually sells a bonfire aesthetic, which no is interest. useful to note. So let's just uh, let's just look at kind of like what what do we got here? You know, we can go heavier on our equipment. Like particularly, I think I like the penal handcuffs. I think I like them a lot actually. I'm a little bit less convinced that this is optimal. Like I, I was a really big fan of it for like up until right now actually. Uh, but I think that we can go heavier with either. I mean, if we were gonna go heavier on our boots, it'd be the like Grim Warrior boots, and you know, we don't we don't really like those. Um, and actually, they're not heavier. The Looking Glass Knight is not the heaviest, is it? That we have on these? Oh, it actually is. Huh. That's interesting. Anyhow, so like a heavier helmet, I think, is super reasonable here. Um, we could go for the Vengarl and unequip our bow. Right. Where was that? It's the heaviest, I think, in the whole game, isn't it? 6.8. Um, so yeah, we'd still be below that 70% mark. It starts out better in terms of physical damage reduction, so once we get it to plus 5, it'll actually kick a lot of ass. Um, what else is heavy? Looks like the old Night Helm is pretty heavy, but pretty lackluster in terms of stats. Stats are important. That's what we're actually looking for here. Gil on Captain Helm is great if we need fire damage resistance. Let's just go with that Vengarl's Helm. We'll be lion-headed. All right, it's also useful because the Vengarl set is at the very bottom, so it's not too hard to find. We got mad twinkling titanite here. Yeah, yeah. Upgrade it, son.
All right, sweet. We're up at 219. <laughs> or, sorry. Somewhere around there, though. It, it disappeared because we can no longer upgrade it. Uh, and is there any, like... Is the Pursuer's Greatsword at max level? Or can that actually get bigger? The Greatsword Greatsword is actually a pretty sweet weapon as well. Um, it's at plus four. Let's put it up to plus five, see if that's max or not. It is, okay. We could upgrade this thing, which is actually a freaking sweet weapon, even though we'd have to two-hand it. I'll be around if you make it. So now we can actually do like a head-on comparison real quick. This is the last thing that I'm going to do, and then we're going to head out um, of Pursuer's Ultra Great Sword plus five. Uh, this is not the stat page that we want. We want to actually look at this. So it does 13 less damage. That's pretty insignificant. Like that difference is not huge at all. So it, it comes down to, like, which moveset we like better. I think I actually like the moveset on the Halberd a little bit better. It's just got a little bit more range. That's pretty much the whole reason. Also, um, one thing that's worth noticing is that the Pursuer's Greatsword actually has C scaling and dexterity. So if you have just a little bit more dexterity than the 21 that we have, you might get more damage out of that, actually, by some marginal extent. All right, so we're going to stick with the Mastodon Halberd. We've got a Venkarl's Helm now. I doubt that we're going to have time to use a bow in the end end boss battle. Last thing that we need to do before we travel is attune a third spell. And I'm going to go ahead and go with Great Fireball, I think. Oh, which leaves us with the question of what do we want to do with the rest of this, uh, these souls. Actually, let's go ahead and upgrade the penal handcuffs and our looking glass leggings. Since, you know, why would we not? Oh, the shiny up there was the wrong shiny. Got distracted. Distracted by the wrong shinies. Penal handcuffs in particular. I mean, I'm just really liking how much fire damage we do with those. I guess we only have two Twinkling Titanite, though. So we can only choose one of these to upgrade. And I don't think that we even have very much from... Um... So let's actually, let's actually look at alternative leggings that may, might not be as heavy, but don't require Twinkling Titanite. I know, I know I said the last thing, and then totally it wasn't the last thing. Please forgive me for that, but I noticed that uh, we had 72,000 souls that we were about to go into the end boss with, and I was just thinking, like, that seems ridiculous. Seems ridiculous to pretty much voluntarily give those up, because the end boss is certainly going to kill us a few times. I'm gonna go with these. Uh, they're heavy. They're cool looking. They require normal Titanite shards to upgrade. These are all things we like about them. Sweet. There was there was not any hidden thought going on there. Don't I'm not pulling one over on you guys. I that was the whole thought process right there. It was like, eh, alright, whatever. They're heavy. I threw them on, they were cool looking. It's You've important to be what? cool looking. Even if you don't have matching equipment. Visit me again. What? And the last piece of equipment that we have that is not fully upgraded is the penal handcuffs. And unfortunately, we cannot upgrade it all the way. We just don't have the Twinkling Titanite for it. So that's like, what's noteworthy there is that earlier I upgraded the, uh... I'll be around. <laughs> Upgraded the mask, uh, the penal mask. Because it was very equip burden efficient, and then later I ended up upgrading my equip burden enough that it was not much of an issue, actually, to go to heavier equipment. So a little bit of a... an incorrect stat distribution there.
or in- incorrect uh, usage of Twinkling Titanite, I guess. Uh, there could even be another vendor that sells Twinkling Titanite. There are wikis out there that you can go and look up such things. Right now, though. Right now, it's, it's time to kick some ass. Oh, I also definitely should have repaired the third dragon ring. Right now we're just using the second dragon ring because this broke once upon a time. <laughs> eh, oh well. If things get dire, I'll do that because a little bit of stamina and HP can make a lot of difference. Once this starts opening, you can switch rings. I doubt that Flash Sweat is going to be particularly useful. So in all honesty, like the the extra spell slot, pretty unnecessary. I, you know, I, I could edit there, but since we all know damn well what is on the other side of this fog gate, I'm fine giving it its epic walk up intro on our way out there i gotta say guys it's been a hell of a ride thank you for taking it with me and this will not be the end this will not be the end of dark souls 2 on this channel Nashandra. All right then. I think that just missed is all. Or maybe, maybe Nashandra is just straight up fire immune. Oh god, I'm getting cursed. Okay, well, that sucks. Looks like Dark Resistance is going to be the way to go, but uh, we'll apply Flash Sweat. Okay, not Fire Immune, just Flame Swap didn't connect, I guess. That, uh, that second attack came down just a little bit earlier than I was expecting. Oh, that's a huge, huge opening there to do damage. I don't actually know what spell they're casting now. Whenever you get too close, you can just get cursed. Oh, okay. We need to back away. It, each time you get cursed, you might just immediately die. <laughs> Which... It's actually surprising to see that mechanic in this fight. There's some chance that you just randomly die when you get cursed. All right, I'll, uh, I'll skip you guys to the fog gate this time. Keep the pace going. What's up, guys? I had mistakenly re-equipped the uh, Royal Soldier's Ring 
which just gave us a stupid amount of equip burden before, um, which I guess would let us roll a little bit faster or further or whatever. But uh, what I actually want here is the Dark Quartz Ring plus two, and what I intended to equip before was the Ring of Steel Protection plus one. Either of those I think are good calls. Um, the rest of our equipment is pretty good, and we equipped Fireball in place of Flash Sweat, because it doesn't seem like there's any fire damage going down in this fight. If our Flame Swath lands, which I don't know why it's not. There we go. Okay, we got cursed once already. Those things are good at zoning us out, really. We want to kind of grab our souls back, I guess, because why lose 10,000 souls if you don't have to? I feel like actually uh, keeping our distance and casting Pyromancy it's probably not a terrible strategy here. Because of the cursing. You know, we don't wanna we don't wanna randomly die to curse any more than we've already randomly died to curse. Could you stay away from me with the curse nonsense? Ah, ah. Alright, well while this ticks back down, let's try and get out of here. Oh my god. That cursing just takes up, like, the vast majority of the stage. Throwing the fireballs at him. Oh, the, the curse is actually gone right now. Okay, and it's coming back. Right next to us, actually. Gross. Get away from me, curse. We actually need him to come to us, so we're out of pyromancies now. Eventually, he'll get sick of casting spells in the middle of his jerk curse thing and come over to us. Cool, there we go. What you casting? Oh, I haven't seen that one before. Might have killed us without the dark resistance ring. That's probably his death. Oh, not quite enough damage, actually. That will be, though. Nashandra down! Is that, uh... I mean, I don't... I don't know. I don't mean to be dismissive here, Dark Souls 2, but, uh, is that all you got? fire. You who bear the curse. Once the fire is linked, souls will flourish anew, and all of this will play out again. It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. Great Sovereign, take your throne. What lies ahead, only you can see.
And that was Dark Souls 2. Possibly... Possibly my new favorite game of all time? I think I like it better than Dark Souls 1, which was my favorite game of all time. But there's that thing where Dark Souls 1 was, I feel like it was such a quantum leap of improvement beyond Demon's Souls that it actually might stand out in my mind more. And might actually be like, oh yeah, favorite game of all time, maybe Dark Souls. Even though I like Dark Souls 2 better, it's just the improvements here seem more incremental. Um, kind of one of those unfair things that happens to sequels that I'm apparently going to uh, continue pressing into the future. I just I felt like all of the little changes of um, having like adaptability and agility that increases your roll speed and people are still debating as far as I can tell of whether it increases your um, like consumable item speed or not. And just like kind of the increased customization on that front seemed really cool. Uh, it seemed like the stats are a lot more well balanced in general. Uh, the fact that like your stamina falls off so hard per level um, that you don't really want to like just power level that or anything else. So mechanically, I feel like it's a lot more balanced. Um, the world building and the characters are certainly there, I think. Like the royal sorcerer Navlon, who's just like you free him and he just hunts you for the rest of the game. That's that's pretty funny. I, I like that. Uh, I like the Emerald Herald a lot, actually. The inclusion of someone that just seems benevolent in the game and is there pretty clearly to help you seems cool. Nishandra, by the way, for those of you that uh that like just saw the name Nishandra and you were expecting uh Vendrick. Nashandra is the queen. Vendrick, if we want to fight him, he's back in the crypt. So we can do that. We probably will do that. I'll probably put up another video of like odds and ends. Uh, which brings us to post walkthrough coverage of Dark Souls 2. I am thinking that I want to do like a a daily live stream of Dark Souls 2. That I'll then post on YouTube. So, if you want to see that sort of thing, make sure that you go and subscribe to twitch.tv slash the media cows. I'll put up videos announcing it and stuff like that uh, when I get like a, a schedule fleshed out a little bit more. And that'll be a way of just kind of like, I'll be doing New Game Plus, but I'll also be doing PvP and just like trying out crazy builds. I love the idea of just using soul vessels, and right now we've got a strength character, right? We've got all these souls dumped into the equipment for a strength character. Who cares? We can very easily make a caster that's going to be totally playable, even in PvP. Like, we'll have a disadvantage, but it's not going to be absolutely crushing, even if we don't really have points in our equipment. Um, so there's so much more to see on this game that, you know, our one playthrough didn't really cover. Uh, there's the Belfry Luna, which I'll, I'll probably go and, and check that out as well. It's the only area that we haven't seen, so it seems like that'll be in the odds and ends video as well. And yeah, let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see out of this game. Um, and I will, I will do my best to bring it to you. Thank you guys so much. Uh, you know, sticking in there and watching more than a hundred parts of Dark Souls 2, watching a, a more than a hundred parts of me playing a video game, that is, that is not a small feat. And for all of you that were out there from start to finish, thank you so much. It means the world to me. I really do love doing this and seeing all of the support from all of you is absolutely wonderful. And I'm going to be doing my best to, to put out some some content that hardcore Dark Souls 2 lovers and players will be able to be a fan of. And yeah, I, 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 I'm excited to do that, just as I was excited to, to bring you guys this walkthrough. Uh, I know it, you know, it wasn't perfect. There are definitely parts that they could have been better, but uh, thank you guys for sticking it through. And yeah, it's like and the nice comments, the constructive comments, anything that wasn't basically being a flaming douchebag in the comments, I really appreciate it. <laughs> All you guys are awesome. And for the record, all you people that are just like, hey, I'm here for the ending. Thank you for that as well. That also helps. 
It's always nice to see that that ending do a little bit better of, of people just being like, I'm curious enough to just check out the ending to a game. Yeah, let's do that. Well, what else is there? I don't know. I think I'm just going to let the credits roll. And uh, I, will, I will see you guys next video, whether it is odds and ends or live streaming or both. Uh, I will say right now that if there is live streaming content like the odds and ends video i'll probably edit and do the the same production level that uh we've got here but the live streaming you know it the point will be so that i don't have to edit videos because as much as i love this game and i intend fully on playing it some more uh i'm not planning on doing a whole ton of time editing because there's there's other games that are coming out and other things that are demands on my time unfortunately uh so yeah if, I, if i'm editing together any like high production quality videos it'll be for a good reason it'll be some like huge lore finding or some super interesting thing that i've found uh but just for the purpose of playing more of this game and bringing you guys more the live streams will just be live streams and then i kick them over to you I believe after the credits, we're going to have the option to either go to New Game Plus or not. And I was I was planning on actually ending this and letting the credits roll. But it seems like we're so close. Let's let's see together what happens. Good people. Good people made this game. What is it? What's it going to be? I know what a Ring of Binding does. So we're back. We've got our 100,000 souls. Bearer of the curse until hope. She's got her usual, her usual spiel. I believe perhaps that we have to go back to the throne. All right, either way, we are back. This is not in New Game Plus. This will allow us to uh, adjust. There we go. Begin journey two to Drang Lake. So after we have finished up, you know, we can't we can't have this, right? Come on, there's got to be an odds and end video for that alone. Furthermore, there's totally a half dead king wandering around we gotta we gotta show him what's up we're the new king so now we have to go kill him that's how it works so one more video in this style and then live streaming i'll see you guys there <laughs>